from around the globe. It's theCUBE with digital coverage of AWS Public Sector Partner Awards. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hello everyone, welcome to this special CUBE coverage of AWS Partner Awards show. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're here in our Palo Alto, California studios doing the remote interviews with our quarantine crew. Obviously during this time of COVID, we're, we're remote with the best remote work solution award for AWS Partner Awards. It goes to Tyler Technologies in the city of Alvin, Municipal Court. And we have Sandy Peters, Vice President and General Manager of Virtual Courts and Encode Court System. Sandy is uh, here to talk about that. And Sonia Gates, who's the city of Alvin's Municipal Court Court Administrator. Welcome and congratulations for the best remote work solution. We're remote. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, Thank thanks, you. Okay, so Sandy, I'll start with you. Uh, Tyler Technologies, you're the general manager of the Encode Court. This is a vert, this is a solution that you're deploying with the city of Alvin to do some things. Take a minute to explain what you guys are doing together. What does your group at Tyler do, and how is it working with the city of Alvin? Yeah, John, uh, Tyler Technologies is just completely focused on uh, local, state, and federal government software and services, and uh, particularly the ENCODE court application focuses on municipal court, uh, which is what Sonia uh, is the uh, court administrator for uh, in Alvin. Uh, we have uh, around, about 900 uh, clients across the U.S. that, that do that same thing. Uh, we, we had this idea about coming up with a remote uh, solution for uh, ability for someone to, instead of having to go to court, uh, to see a judge that they could do that remotely and, and really have the same experience. And so we sort of launched off on that uh, and uh, worked with uh, several different uh, of our clients uh, and came up with a way for, for that to happen. Sonia uh, got uh, involved in it very early on and uh, has been instrumental in helping us uh, continue to, to make it successful. Sonia, talk about the city of Alva's business court system. I've seen with COVID people are sheltering in place and they're not moving around much, you have to have a solution. Talk about the partnership with Tyler. How did this come together? How do you guys work? Take us through that. Well, we we have a great relationship with Tyler Technologies. They are very instrumental in our day-to-day -day processing. They sent out a, an email with the idea due to COVID. And um, as soon as we received the email, we decided that was the best solution for, for our court. And we just immediately jumped on board with it so we could resolve cases and not get behind. So the virtual court means, okay, I get a ticket. I want to appeal it. Normally I'd show up and now I can't. So it interfaces and it take me through the solution and where does AWS fit into all this? I'm assuming it's on the cloud. It, it definitely is on the cloud, John, and um, and, and it, that's exactly right. So if you get a if you get a citation, sometimes you you may want to appeal it. Sometimes you just want to find out what your options are, and you uh, are going to go up here before a judge. You can do that remotely now through this through our application. Uh, it supports all the video. You can uh, upload documents, exchange those. Uh, supporting documents, uh, and uh, and then as it interfaces with our uh, case management system, so that uh, as as changes are made on the case, uh, they're reflected and, and the defendant can see those. And uh, so it just really the whole idea is remotely being able to to go before the judge, find out what your options are, uh, go through that process, and then at the very end, it gives them a way to completely take care of that case. Uh, and within a few minutes, it, it can be completely resolved. So take us through the city of Alvin's court system there. What's the challenges that you have? Um, and what was some of the feedback when you first brought this out? Uh, take us through what, what happened. Well, to be honest, it was, for us, it was unknown territory. We were a little nervous. We were a little scared um, to do something of this sort, but with the situation at hand, we had to figure out something and this was the best fit for us. Um, there was other options available, but we we prefer to stay within Tyler and 
utilize the system to its fullest. So that's why we just said, okay, let's do this. Um, I have a judge that's amazing, that is very tech savvy, and he was on board and my city manager. So just working with Tyler each way, you know, each step of the way, you know, and them comforting us in a sense, you know, to let us know, hey, it's okay, we're here each step of the way, we'll be, build this together. And that's kind of where we started with the whole project. So this is a low hanging fruit, obviously. It's not jury, I'm assuming, not a jury kind of situation. It's more of other non-jury activities, right? Right. It's the day-to-day -day court, you know, non-jury. We're not doing any jury trials right now um, until after the governor allows us. So it's just the regular, you know, pre-trials, the attorney dockets, arraignments, and those sorts of cases. Um, I'd be love to be uh, in the planning sessions as you start to roll out the software for jury selection. You know, what, we'll go into that kind of like, what's your I'm Facebook ready. handle look like? <laughs> you know, what is, yeah. you know, it's going to be a digital uh, surveillance. I don't know, it could be crazy. But this is the future. This is what we're talking about here. This is all cloud scale. Yeah. One of the benefits of cloud is, is taking things and doing experiments. We hear that all the time. What, uh, take us through the judge. So you said he's tech savvy. Are these like Zoom like calls? Is it like, is there a workflow? I'm just trying to envision, you know, what stood up in terms of the encode uh, virtual court side, Sandy, Sonia, what's, what's it like? What's that, take me through the experience. Well, everything's tied in together, whereas Zoom and other, you know, options out there, um, it's separated from your software. So, the, you know, that was one of the perks of going through Tyler with this virtual court is because everything's tied into one. Um, we don't have to enter data or anything after the docket's over, it's all live. Um, our forms, as soon as the defendant and the judge make an agreement, it's put into TCM where the defendant can see it live, sign the orders and immediately get it back to us. And there's no delay time, there's no downtime. Um, and it's housed in one. So we're not having to miss data or, you know, it, it eliminates a lot of errors, clerical errors, or cases from being missed. And the judge handles everything, right? He just, he deals with the personal interactions, reviews the data, the defendant makes well, their the case. Clerics a lot too. The clerics do a lot too. Um, he's talking and as he's talking, we're entering his orders as he's speaking. So it's real time. So we're like, interacting. This is true agility. Sandy, this is the future. This is where the solutions start to get the scale. So what's next? What What is the vision? How do you guys see the next step? Because, I mean, we all know that, you know, COVID will be over soon. We hope faster than, than it's happened, but it'll be a hybrid world. And I think this shows a template for efficiency. Right. Yes, yeah, I, I think that's a great point. And uh, it is the future. We're going to continue to leverage our relationship with AWS, which has just been incredible through this process and, and uh, Went, went way beyond what we were expecting just in terms of resources and, uh, and and helping us even just within our own development processes as we as we brought something to scale uh, and in learning uh, how to how to load test and uh, and, and really build uh, applications that can scale out and so we we believe it is the future and uh, Sonia makes a, a great point uh, many times because they live in an area where uh, sometimes there's other natural disasters like hurricanes that can disrupt uh, what's going on for them. Uh, but then also, as you as you just think about uh, really what, what I would call responsibility as we move forward, we have a responsibility to pri uh, provide ways so that people can take care of things uh, and not put themselves at risk. And, and uh, as we move into the future uh, past COVID. And uh, so we're going to continue to leverage the technology that uh, AWS provides, the scalability, uh, how we can uh, load test and, and everything. And, uh, and, and it was really a no brainer for us to, to run this application on the AWS services for us. And Sonia, it's also not just about justice, not only getting the, the, the folks who are speeding and taking care of the, the penalties there, but it's also potentially for justice if someone is not guilty or they want to get, business has to continue, right? So this extends into the right. use case of remote hybrid, the future, because oh, yes. work can be distributed. Now you have efficiencies. This is going to create a connected system, which ultimately can be a connected community. Oh yeah, and it, it's going to reduce the failure to a rate here for court cases also, um, 
So that'll be less warrants, more compliant, um, in a easier, it's a better relationship between us, the court and our defendants, because they have the option of not having to leave work or miss appointments. You know, they can still tend to their case and do other things that they need to do without taking a spending, you know, a couple of hours and sitting in a room and, you know, at the court. That's a huge point, Sandy. This is about resource utilization on both sides, not just the courts and the, the city of Alvin on the municipal side, the citizens, it's efficiency. I mean, how many people don't show up because they can't get out of work or they need to make their paycheck or they have their, their family uh, needs need to be met. So all these things play into the psychology of, of, the, of, of life. This is digital life, virtualization of, of, the, of life. It really is a big thing. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you're exactly right. I mean, you're you're hitting on some of the some great points. Uh, that that's exactly right. And uh, when you think about what has to happen for you to go and and uh, maybe go before a judge and uh, take off work, you've got to go by traffic. You've got to find parking. Uh, you may have to have uh, someone that uh, takes care of your children. There's, there's all sorts of things that you're having to go through just to get down and, and be in front of a judge uh, that, that this can help with. And I think it's just one aspect to your point of really trying to think of, uh, really starting to, to help government think about how to be more customer centric, how to provide some ways for people to uh, take care of, uh, of what they need to take care of uh, and, uh, and so we're, we're really trying and, and your, your point about connected communities is a, is a huge key point for us at Tyler, as we think of ways that we can help uh, a community be more connected for sure. Well, you know, I'm huge into whole civic, um, relationships and having a productive government and having citizens be served for that reason than having it be a community and this, and now more than ever transparency is helpful, right? This only helps things. So you guys are doing a really great job of one, enabling a work environment remotely. In this case, it's for the courts to be operational, which they need to be, but it clearly can extend. Um, so Sonia, I got to ask you the question. Um, I'd love to get your, your commentary on surprises when you rolled this out, you know, where people are like, oh my God, no one's ever going to use it, or it's just too techy, or, or has there been any um, pleasant surprises or, um, things that surprised you that you didn't think was going to happen. T give us some kind of commentary on some observations that you've seen from, from remote working, rolling out the best remote work solution. It's been very interesting. Um, we read our actual first defendant. Um, he was elderly. And so we were kind of concerned, okay, will he know how to connect, you know, and he did amazing. So that's kind of where we knew if, if we could reach the older generation and he can connect all these younger defendants and, you know, younger people would, shouldn't have any issue. So he was, you know, we explained to him, he, hey, you're our first defendant. This is new to us. It's new to you. And he did awesome. So that kind of gave us the confidence we needed to pursue it even more and push it out there and give the defendants options. Um, there's been, um, we've looked, <laughs> some people forget and so do I that we're on camera and, you know, we can see up noses. Um, yeah. They forget they're in their vehicle, you know, they may hit a few bumps, yeah. but the we're like, okay, well, maybe in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, it's been, it's been an experience, but a, a pleasant experience. And it gave us where we didn't want to backlog cases throughout yeah. this COVID and having the virtual option through Tyler has, we were, when COVID first started, we got behind until we launched about, we had about 800 cases we got behind on. And then as soon as we launched out virtual yeah. court, now we're caught up, my court's running smooth, everything's great, and there's no backlog of cases. Clear the backlog. I, the question I want to ask is that elderly first a user, did, did he or she get an early adopter discount on the sentence? <laughs> the, judge, the judge was fine, <laughs> but he did I kinda, also. I was shocked. I, I kind of resent the elderly remark, uh, Sonia, but that's okay. I, th well, I think he, she's referring to me. No, no, no. He was, and he was in his eighties. 
Okay, I, I'm, I feel old. I feel young then. Well, you guys, congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get your parting thoughts just with cloud technology. A lot of other folks out there are looking at reimagining public service, specifically around these times where there's a lot of emotional stress, like you got backlog, you mm -hmm. don't want to have the court get backlog. I can see that. People don't want tickets hanging out there, but that kind of encapsulates people's feelings right now. And I think remote citizenship is coming. Just your thoughts on how you see this as a beginning starting point for cloud computing, enabling the efficiencies, the solutions and the applications for a more connected community experience. Sonia, we'll start with you. Okay. Um, I can see this this is the way we're going to keep things. Um, we like the option, the flexibility um, that our defendants or citizens have. Um, it it's opened our eyes, and if you're if there's other courts out there that are kind of hesitant to go ahead and jump in and do it, I, I strongly recommend just do it. It's it's scary in the very beginning because a lot of us were not used to it. But after you get through it and you go through the changes, it's it's so worth it in the end. And you'll see such a, a more of a compliance for both sides. And, you know, it reduces the stress on staff having to send out and mail notices, you know, for failure to appears and stuff of that sort, reduce warrants. So it's been a win-win all the way around. Um, so if I could reach any court out there that's kind of on the line of doing it, just just do it. All right. Yeah. Great. Sandy. Yeah. And, and John, yeah, John, for us, uh, cloud is, is, the, is the future. I mean, every, every application we have, uh, we're actively working, uh, if it's not already uh, a cloud-based solution, it, it will be, uh, and, and we're a huge believer in, uh, the scalability. Uh, but, but when you look at applications like this as, as an example, uh, of, uh, Tyler virtual court, where it's really a win-win situation. It's it's better for the court. They can continue to carry on their business. It's better for the citizen because now they can actually take care of, of something that they weren't going to be able to take care of in the past. And uh, and as we continue to find win-win uh, uh, solutions, uh, cloud-based uh, solutions are going to be at the core of that in terms of just how easy it is to access and, and roll out. So. Uh, it's a big part of our future, and, and we believe it's a big part of, uh, of our customers' future as well. Well, congratulations. Modernization has positive impacts if done right. More time is freed up to work on maybe personal things and connect those communities and bring people together. Congratulations, uh, Tyler Technologies in the city of Alvin for the best remote work solution. And it's the court system. Get those tickets paid, clear that backlog, and now you got all the time in the world, Sonia, to, to kind of work on other things. What do you do with all your free time? I'm going to take a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for Thanks. this conversation. And again, congratulations. Thanks for your time. Thanks Thank a lot, John. Thank you. Okay, this is theCUBE's covering of AWS Public Sector Partners Awards show. I'm John Furrier with the best remote work solution. Thanks for watching.